What is the chances of that? All in line, I hope. So this is Lee's little contraption. Looks a bit like Frankenstein. Mate, it's actually broke. Busted it. Like a glove. Morning guys, welcome back to another video. Me and Leah here all week, but yesterday we continued doing downlights in the dining room. Today's task is to put downlights all in this hallway and this little hallway here. Um, just before we left yesterday, we had a look and just see where we could put them. And we found out there's, um, there's joists every 300. So yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a task trying to get them through without taking too much of the, of the plasterboard off, but I say we've put a laser level along, like, along this line here and we think we're just going to take a strip off just so we can get through each joist. We're going to see how it goes. Should we do rock, paper, scissors to see who gets what job? You've got your multi joint here. Oh, pipe, pipes there. What? Pipes there. Where's this about? It'll be landing, bedroom. So it's annoying because there's already a hole drilled through everyone with these cables going through. Start the next panel there. Okay. The joist starts. Must be an easier way of doing it. Well, not an easier way, an alternative way. Let me know in the comments. So, as you can see, we cut the access panels or access holes all the way down um, where we're going to be running the cable. Um, it's actually helped us as well because the position of the downlights, we weren't sure whether they're going to be, be clear of the joists, but obviously. Now we've done it away long enough to see. Yeah, they should be fine apart from, <laughs> that one. Apart from now. <laughs> Too so, yeah, so if it worse comes to worse, we'll have to move them slightly, but make them so they look good to the eye as well. 90 that and part. 90, and then if we redo the measurement in between and see if they. You clear. can't, because this one is bang on as well. That can only go right, and this one can no, only go left. If we're doing 90 and 90 and redoing the measurement in between, they're, they're all, all the middle ones are going to go. Different, aren't they? Yeah. And then we'll see. That one's right in the, in the middle of a double. Yeah, that's going to be a lot. So let's redo the measurements. We've got these uni lights given to us, and they actually had one good useful feature. Because we're too lazy to pass it to each other. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Okay, so we've got given these uni light tape measures, which are very good, and they have one very good useful feature. Can you pass me yours, please? Okay, mate. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> what is the chances of that? Bang on the centre. That one still lines up. That's the that's one that's hitting the beam, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah. What if we had one like the only thing is we'd have to that's cut gonna, another. That's gonna be another joist there, like yeah, the see the joist. Or we do like what would it be? That's ninety. So what? Eighty, eighty, and then see what. I think you'll be then risk. I always think that centre one's gonna. And that would end up moving here, I reckon. What if we put? One here, one here, and then we do our measurement oh, off those. equal from that to that one, that to that one, space them out. Mm -hmm. I want to get rid of some of these, rob some of these other markers, I'm scared to start getting confusing. For who, me? You're really showing off today. <laughs> <laughs> well, like when you have your friends, <laughs> friends, <laughs> friends <laughs> you. Why are you showing off in front of your friends? <laughs> I'm not, Mum. <laughs> we just want to do. Do into the middle, do a mark, yeah, and then do to yours. 
You want it? Yeah. Eight foot, two inches and a bit. No, but it's eight foot already. So, 16.2 and a quarter. Three, one, two, there. Right on the edge. That double beam is mucking us up, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, you bang on on mine. <sighs> yeah, good enough. So it might look, look like we take a lot of time on this, but basically we're just trying to trying to figure out the best positions because we're getting three or four of them out of the five lining up, and one or two of them will start, will hit the joists. So instead of just moving one and make it look <laughs> make it look out of, I mean, not make it look good to the eye, we're trying to remeasure and remeasure and just try and move the distance slightly so all of them are clear of joists basically. Let's go in between now. One twenty. Right, the joists. That's too big a gap for one. But I'll just change yeah, it then. We'll get it, we'll get it. So you've got three there, you can put one in line. Oh, that's right. Joyce. There's no joist. Yeah. I think it's so many though, I guess it's normal. I don't know whether it's normal actually. What? It's right like that. Why did you do a line on the joist then? I didn't know. I thought you measured it, bro. Yeah, I measured so that's the 75 mil. All this time we've been marking them up on top of the joist. Right, so we've finally got the positions of the lights and we've actually had to add two more downlights in just so we can get the spacing right so they don't hit the joist. Um, which, it, it's not actually a big problem because these, these lights are, what are they? They're not cool white, are they? They're warm white, so they're not actually very, like really, really bright. They're sort of an orangey colour, so it won't be overpowering in here. So. Yeah, we've managed, we're, we're having to put eight in now instead of six, so we're just going to start making the holes and hopefully they'll miss all the joists. These are both going through pipes. On this pipe there? Yep. What, straight over the top? Yep. Do we know The light fitting might push up into the hole in there. No, it's, it's not straight over the these ones. Do we know an emergency plumber though? Just in case. Corey's probably got more fast style. <laughs> Your job, mate. If you can start cutting hours, I'll go make you coffee, mate. What do you want? Treating the old boy to a cup of tea, and I. That one. What? The third one. I stand out of my laser. Need to get some more of them at BW. Six mil one five. Where did I put it? We've just stopped for lunch, had something to eat quickly, went down the shop around the corner, um, just come back. As I said, we drilled all the holes by one, which is right next to this light fitting. Um, so now we're just going to start drilling for the joists, just so we can run the cables all the way down. Um, and yeah, but we also, yeah, we've got to pop to BW as well, the wholesalers, just because. Originally they only wanted five, five or six, six spotlights, but now we've got eight just to make it look good for the eye. So yeah, we've just got to pop there and get another two more down lights and that should be all. So this is Lee's little contraption. I don't know if you can hear. I'm sure there's a proper version of it, but it looks a bit like Frankenstein, but let's give it a go. <laughs> it's actually broke. <laughs> it's probably got it off. Mate, it's actually broke. Cheers, mate. I'm sorry. How long have you had it? About, about two months. Yeah, then. Does it serve this purpose? Uh, depends if you get one on the Amex or not. You're going to get me a new drill on the Amex, mate? Nah. I think I'll go from Milwaukee this time. <laughs> oh, is it actually broke though? You're going to have to tell J-Dog these drills. Okay. Hey, it's a very expensive 22 mil hole cutter. Is there like a knack to it or is it actually broke? No, it never does that usually. Cheers mate. Sorry. Funny, I bet he's got a lovely <laughs> pristine drill in his bag and he's just like that. I'll leave, leave that nice clean one. Let's carry on breaking this one. 
What if you rubbed out? Ah, what if I burn? What if you rubbed out? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. No, there's two more lights. Yeah. There. Should be fine there. But now with this next one, clear the joist now. Max, why are you smoking? <laughs> I'm filming him. Filming him, filming me. Filming me, filming you. Uh-huh. Uh, me a favour. Lee? Is he here? <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do me a favour, please? I'm not going to check that wart on your bum again, no! It's disgusting! <laughs> Why have you passed it onto me now just to, to drill for all the cables? Just to see where the tip comes out and then... Oh. <laughs> oh, that's quite close. Can you see it? Yeah. Perfect. Oh, look oh. at that! Lovely. Can I buy some long nose pliers, please? You gonna break them? No. Yeah, they work now. Let's see how I get them back. Why is my true in the bin? <laughs> Can I buy you, please? Sometimes you gotta think, could you do that? Um, I need small hands and uh, oh. I can't go in the hole. Do you mind sticking your hand out there? <laughs> Should be <laughs> Oh, okay, even you can't. Oh. Mate, where are you? Have you drilled through? Yeah. Th th through this one? Yeah. You need to curl it around to me. My hand's like here. One sec, look at the other ladder. Do you not feel it at all? Mm. Nothing. Oh, into another. Like that much cable going in. Yeah, but it's nowhere near me. What happened to your drill? Luke happened to it, that's what happened to it. Busted it. We're going to have to have a send-off for it and Luke will have to give me a day's wage just to uh, buy some bits. That's it. Give up. Right, let's get on the end of it. I don't know the other bit. Is it up here? No, where is it? Oh, I can't remember where it is. I'm just making it easier to work in. There. Oh, yeah, so that's fine there, isn't it? Yeah, but then if you, I think if you move this one, you can move this one slightly, just move that one slightly in there. That's what college teachers would say. When they go, oh, is, that a, is that a bulb? They go, they're not bulbs, bulbs go in grounds. They're lamps. I always say bulb in front of a customer because yeah, if they, you say lamp, they look yeah. to totally confused. If you say bulb, they're like, oh, yeah. What's this little button? Do you know? No. Imagine if I pushed it and it started closing on me. <laughs> what is that? So, all the holes, well, all the lights second fix now. So all the holes where we've multi-tooled out to get the cables through the joists, we're just gonna batten off where we need, screw the plasterboard back up, fill it over, um, and it's all ready for decorating. So I'm just going to cut some wood up for some battens. Let's see what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> hey. Very nice. All in line. 
I hope. Perfect. All right, guys. So they've just moved into this house. The induction hob's got a big dirty crack in it. It's got another one cracked all the way across. So they've been trying not to use it. The new one has turned up. Um, basically, this kitchen's all going to get ripped out. It's going to have an extension all made bigger and redone. When I've found the connection to pull this one out, I've found that it is connected off of the same circuit that the cooker's on. And looking at the new hob, that's 7.2 kilowatts, which is sort of rated for a 32 amp breaker. But obviously, if all the hobs were running and the cooker was running, there's a chance of it um, overloading the breaker and tripping. So I'm going to leave it connected for now because it's not likely that they're going to have everything running at once. But knowing that they're ripping the kitchen out and redone it, uh, redoing it, I've just said to the guy, obviously, just keep it in mind it could trip if you've got everything running at once. But um, when the kitchen's redone, I recommend a new circuit being running for this. And when he, I think he's going to get two separate ovens anyway, so new circuits for them. But um, yeah, just so we can start cooking, we're going to swap this out for him now. Do you want some bacon bits? Oh, I'd love some. It's really kind of you. Could you, like, can oh, you imagine? How many bacon bits can you fit in your mouth? If you give me 100 quid, I'll do that. No, I wouldn't. I even wouldn't do that. Like a glove. So it's the end of day three now. Yeah, day three this week. We've been here, well, we're here this week. Um, today was a bit of a challenging one. It took a lot longer than we thought it was going to take, purely because the joists were run, running the opposite way to what we think they were. Um, but yeah, we got managed to get it done with the main hallway. Uh, so tomorrow it's just the smaller hallway and a few other little bits and bobs. What are they tomorrow? Putting some kinetic switches in the loft for the oh, the lights in the garden. Yeah, and some lights up in the loft as well. So yeah, a few little interesting bits though. Yeah, join us tomorrow.